Howdy, howdy, y'all. This is Sir Cowpoke, and today we're back with some more Minecraft. We're going to do some more exploring in our little series that we've got going on. This is episode two, two of our little survival hard mode um, solo. So we're going to see, uh, we're going to continue the story and see what else we can get into. So today we're doing a few things. Uh, one, we have our trusty map, which I have in my hand, which you see. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'll fix that later. But we're gonna go out to the uh, plains way out there and just and just scout around and see if we can find ourselves a village, see what they have for us, if we can get a saddle, so we can get ourselves a trusty steed. Yes, I like horses. But um, and and then the next big thing is we need to get. I, I like eating bread and all, but I I, I need some steak in my life. I, I I like it, and so I need to get some farms built. So we're gonna build like a really nice, really nice stables and barn, a little combo. Uh, I'm going to clear out a few paths. We're going to get a lot of building material because the other big thing we're going to, I'm going to try to knock out today is really change this house up uh, quite a bit. This is a good little starter home, but but I, I want something nicer. I want something better and nicer, and and I can do better. I just threw this up to protect me from all the little baddies out in this in this nasty world. So without further ado, we're just going to go dive right into right into everything and uh, get to work, and we're going to start off oop, that's right i gotta fix hang on, i gotta uh, you yes fix you there so we like i said we got plenty of bread only have one piece of meat left uh, and got plenty of extra stuff uh, this should hold me off for for a while and, and so we're going to go ahead and start our grand adventure grand event oh wait i need the bed don't don't forget the bed give me your mr bed oh yeah see i even put, i did put a flower in here i did put a flower in here Grab the trusty bed. We're gonna need it. Got all kinds of, we still got trees and stuff. It'd be awesome if we can come across like a good, like cool. Ah! Well, that would have been. <gasps> we found by accident, a cave, a cave of wonders. Hmm. Hmm. Did I? Yeah, let's go. We're, we're gonna go check out the cave. This is probably very dumb. Yes, that, that was that was that was pretty dumb. Get you there. Ow. Do that. Boom. That that that. All of that and iron. Go down. Oh, there they are. Okay. Hi, buds. Hi. How y'all doing? Shit. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, ow, I, get, I got it. Okay, I know I'm hurt. Okay. Maybe not yet. We're gonna need like milk and stuff to come back in here. So let's, let's get out of here. I'm gonna fall into these holes all over the place. And that's what's gonna kill me. It's not gonna be anything else. It's gonna be, it's gonna be freaking falling to my, hey, a village. I think, yep, I found a village. Hell yeah. Awesome! First village! Boom. It's actually really close. Really close. I like it. We got like little campfires and stuff all around here. It's cool. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna, let's just... I forgot. I don't have silk touch. Uh -huh. Okay. So, what you got in here, guys? Uh, just go ahead and... I, I, I don't want to take their, their, their bed. So, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sleep on my own. And boom, we are back. Wakey, wakey, everybody. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, you got some stuff. Pumpkin seeds, that's always good and handy. Spurs. Cool, 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 cool. Here we go. All of this. That. That. All of these. I'm going to strip this guy, this area clean. And Ooh, uh, I want one of those, please. Thank you. I don't, I don't need to take both. Just the one. The one's fine. What else you got? Iron apples. Gold. Did I pick up gold? I did. Must have. Hi, bud. You don't look too well. You know what? 
You know what? Since I'm taking their stuff, you are now repaired. I will give you that. Boom. You are good to go. And um, I do want this. So, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I need to get rid of something. Get rid of the fern. And I'll take that. Man, you got all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, I want that. And what else can I get rid of? Let's get rid of that. I don't want that. Ow! Ow! That hurt. I do want your blast furnace. You can have a spider eye. Spider eye for a blast furnace. I think that's a fair trade, if I do say so myself. All right, so we're heading back to our base already. Make it smoochy smooch, and we're gonna drop off, since we're right there, we're gonna go ahead and drop off everything we found. We're gonna even grow some oak, because you know, that's a thing. And yeah, a good little start. Didn't get very far, and then bam. Gold mine. Do, 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 do. Yes, 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 yes. Get around this mountain. Aha! Yeah. Yeah. Take this and this. We're gonna chop all this down so we can get some. Yeah, boy! I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Aha! And there we go. Oh, there we go, oh, there we go, oh, there we go, and there it is, and there it is, and there it is. Now we have dark oak and, ooh, mushrooms. It's a big old mushroom. I don't eat strange mushrooms, no thank you. I will not partake in your strange mushrooms. I will not. All right, we got, ooh, another round sheep. I've been murdering sheep because I want your wool. Is that, so pretty much every single... Hey! That's right, a new color. I haven't got that color yet. I've been killing a lot of these white ones. Get all the wool. All the wool. I think there's one more over here that I saw. Let's see, where are you? I just want... Aww. It has a baby. No, I'm going to kill that one. I killed a, a bunch of them on the way over here, though. But, uh, I'll leave y'all alone. I don't want to kill the mom and the baby. That's just wrong. I won't do that. Let's see here. So we're continuing on this way. Let's see here. Ooh, what is that? <gasps> is that obsidian? <gasps> Whoa, we found a little... We found one of the, uh... What, what are these things? Like, ancient portal thingamajigs? I don't have a diamond pickaxe, though. There's more sheepy. Hang on. I got other things to get real quick. Let's get... Uh, I want to get that. Blech. That. And then this is netherite, right? Yeah! Netherite! Okay, hang on. Gotta get... I do want that, though. Ooh, ooh. Let's get rid of all the rid of you. Get that whole thing. Oh, block of... You know, gold. I was blanking on it. Don't make fun of me. It's fine. I got it. Uh, ooh, that's like damaged ones, though. Damaged ones. There's the chest. Let's put it. Ah, we got golden horse armor. And we got, ooh, more, more. Like it. Golden hoe. Hey, it has silk touch, though. I'll take it. That, that, and a golden apple. There we go. I'll take it very much. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, man, this uh, mountain kind of got flattened. Some of the dragons out already. Nah. Woo. Ah. No falling. That would have been really bad. That would have been game over, start over. No bueno. No bueno. Oh my god. Slaughter vest! So many sheep. So many sheep. <laughs> Don't worry about it, bud. I just want to kill you all. Not all of you. I'll spare one of you, you little sheepy. I'll spare one.
All right, we made it back to our base in one piece somehow. Uh, we didn't explore the entire map, just, just, just like an L. There's only one village. That's nuts. One village. It's crazy. But we have a village, and it's really close. Real close. So we can actually make a village spawner spawner now. And, and then we can bring over uh, that and actually get our iron farm going. Uh, but that'll be a little bit later because I still need to get... that. that I'm going to need a lot of redstone for that just so I can migrate them by cart all the way over. And it's, it's going to be a crazy one, but I'll get that done. I think I have a couple of spots, but now we're going to die. We're, I'm going to start. I'm going to upgrade this base. So take it one last look because I'm going to tear it all down. All of it's coming down. All of it. Yep. All right, I actually start off with my build by clearing and gathering as much wood as possible. Um, so I take off the side that I know is gonna be the, the easiest access where I wanted to lead down to the river side where I'm eventually gonna put my barn. So I'm working on clearing all this area out, all of it out, trying to get all this wood and everything and then start laying it into, into it. But without my, you know, I, I didn't realize that I was scaring off the bees and everything else. And so I even started working throughout the, the night, the dark times, without realizing all the mobs walking around me. You just get oblivious when you get into this mindset, um, especially I do. I just get focused and start harvesting all the wood, and the dark oak wood that I'm going to be using for the build, the birch wood, um, the regular oak, everything that's going to go into this build. I'm starting to gather all the material for this. And through, through this part, I was like, oh wait, th th those are creepers. So I was like, oh, I got chased back into my house um, from those creepers. And then I'm like, okay, time to get, time to focus on this uh, this little tiny hut that I made. It was, it was a nice little hut, very basic, very just simple. And just for first day out to make sure I don't die right away. I was like, this will work. Nice little cover, place to sleep, put some stuff, storage, food, get it to go. And I don't have to worry so much about anything i didn't realize actually how much material i actually threw into this even for a quick little build i was like wow i had to go drop off a bunch more stuff i used a lot more fences than i actually thought i would i didn't realize like how much of a platform i expanded and and, and worked my way out of here um and everything else but it turned out real well and i was actually quite surprised when i'm on the top section of this mountain not a whole lot of mobs actually make their way up here so sometimes i can work throughout the night here you can see I'm, I'm really trying to get how big do I want my new house to be. And at first I was like, I want it super big, take up the entire area. But I was like, no, no, let's keep it, let's keep it condensed down so I have plenty of walking room because I don't want to over expand the, the pad that I'm in. So I start off I'm like, okay, this is going to be my overall size. And so I'm getting my overall layout. And my plan was I wanted a mashup of a, uh, of a, fort tower mashed with a nice little modest house like as an idea of hey if there was a random tower just a small little tower old tower that's why i went with cobblestone over regular stone because i wanted it to feel like this is an old old tower that was just abandoned and i came in and built a nice house around it and, and, and kind of like refurbished the tower so to speak um and so as i was putting the house in there i was trying to figure out okay do I want it off of the little side? Then like I want do I want to like tower or bore into it? And I'm like, no, this doesn't this doesn't feel right. So I rip all that down and move it over and say, I'm like, I'm gonna build into the tower. I want the house really molded around the tower. And so I start putting up my foundation, really getting into how I want this to look. Um, I know I double double up right there on on the pillars and everything else, but I actually kind of like doing that. It could have put some like more sturdiness into the build. Um, and also makes it thicker. It gives me more playing room, I feel, when I do when I make builds like that. And then so here I got my core foundation. Then I sort of decided, you know what, I'm using dark oak for my posts and um, and everything and then regular oak for walls and everything so i want i was like for the floor birch wood i want a bright color to make it really pop to get it's better on the eyes to have a brighter co contrast to it and and everything else so that's why i really went with that and so now i'm pretty much just trying to get the tower the way i want it to look um, inside and everything and so i get the stairs right and now i'm like okay time to get a roof how big do i to get a, to a basic roof and so i figured just keep it a simple roof 
um, it'll work out just fine. And as you see, I'm going back and forth, back and forth on trying to get all the materials because I actually ran out of a lot of wood during this. Even all that clearing I did before, I had to go back out and cut down more trees and grow more trees. Even the oak, I needed to go back and get some more oak as I was uh, finishing up this build. I even ran out of cobblestone quite a bit and I had to go down and, and mine um, extra cobblestone. I did turn a lot of that cobblestone into stone with the idea I'm going to do stone. So that's why I, it's another reason I ran out of a lot of a cobblestone. Um, but but I think this is going to turn out really well. It actually, I was real happy how the roof came together. And I was actually concerned. It's like once I put this roof on here, how's that going to mold into the actual tower? And I think it turned out pretty well. Um, at least I think, I feel like it really came came together. And as soon as I finished out the, out the the core structure, I just quickly did the interior, put out the lanterns and decorated. I will do a whole tour on like how that looks at the end of all this. Um, but right now I just want to speed through, get everything else done. Right now I'm really expanding my like uh, foyer area where I'm gonna have like a little pond and rest area and everything else. And then I was like, you know what? I really need to get some defense walls in here because I really it still needs to protect me and try to keep the baddies out. So I'm like, all right, well, how do I make this look nice? So I'm like, I'm going to double it up um, so I can still look over, but I am going to use cobblestone walls to really fortify. It's kind of like a, a rundown keep that I came across and tore down and, and everything else. And so I was trying to really, really stick with that theme that this was a original like little outpost on a, on a mountainside. And so I was trying to keep as close to that as possible. So I, I think I did pretty well at that and just kind of modernized the, the whole area. And I'm working on the back area to get the steps that lead down the steep side, as well as the steps that will go down to my farm. You can see where a creeper um, I actually ran into and had a almost a close encounter blew up right next to me. Um, I survived barely, but I still survived, obviously, because I'm still working but it, it it was a close call and so now for the for this area i was like all right i just wanted a typical small one i couldn't figure out like i wasn't quite satisfied when i first set down the lanterns because i was like this is too short um so i kept playing with different different things here and there i had to go back and get more material forgot the lily pads in my in the all the way down to my cave so i had to go back and get all that but then i really started just bursting up the area trying to make it as pretty and stuff here I'm, I'm really focusing on, okay, got the farm. I'm gonna go with my basic farm style for a condensed area, which is my double decker uh, double decker farm. So I have, I'll have i have wheat down below and whatever else on top, probably potatoes. And as I was building it, I was in my own little world. I was like, wait, I think I made this too short. So I'm like, oh wait, yep, too short to rip it down and expand it back up. So I had to uh, go back and, and fix all of it again. And so I was thinking, okay, do I want to, how do I want to do the outside posts? I wanted to do, cause usually it's your strip across. And I was like, I'm trying to figure out, okay, I wanted to look a different way. I wanted to see what it looks like when it's all up like that. And I was like, I don't like that. Now with it's sitting in the air, I wanted it to be an actual post. So I clean that up, get all that done and everything. Um, the best thing about this farm, other than it's just condensed and everything else, it just foc fo focuses on just that area and it and actually kind of fits and it's quite nice especially in these smaller terrains and everything and and everything else it just it just really really looks like i just came in set shop and just and completed everything else i ran out of one one fence post right there at the end i was like come on so i had to go back fix that i had to go actually cut down a tree for that one um, got all this cleaned up. Um, so now I'm trying to just light up, make it look nice, and and, and get it all cleaned up and, and pretty and everything else. So I really hope you all like how this turned out. Alrighty, we are all finished with House 2.0 Survival. It's my own little custom build that I, I, I've been, I put like two, two things, a little mini tower and everything put together. Let me give you a grand tour to show you all what was done. It was a long, ran out of materials constantly, 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 constantly. Oh my God, all the materials I had to get for this and, and everything, it took forever, but finally got it done. And so let me let me give you a tour. Let me give you a little quick 
to her. Uh, uh, this is my balcony that I can oversee. Beautiful, like I said, I love building up here. It's a good spot. You can see forever um, as far as the rendering occurs. And then here is my little bedroom. Um, it's a little empty. I mean, I do have a picture and everything, and I have plans to build. And but it gives me gives me places to put stuff. Once I get an inner chest, it's going to go there, and I can decorate this as I get new things. This leads right up to the top balcony, um, which I am probably going to put like a fireplace up here just for the for the looks and everything. But I can walk out here and get a bigger bigger view. I love it. Um, I am going to be putting a bigger tower, either a windmill or a tower. Leave a leave a comment down below to see if I, you should if I should build a windmill right here or a tower. Uh, just let me know. Let me know, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll make that happen. And then as we come down here, we get right into the storage. Um, got a little carpet strip right here. It, it's pretty bare, but this is going to fill up super quick, super 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 quick. Um, I'm going to probably have to build, expand into that. But this is our my little, little living space. I got pictures, paintings. Again, once I get more stuff, I'm going to decorate this more and more and more. Um, get the water cauldron once I get more iron. Because, oh my god, the amount of iron and materials that went into this. This took forever to get all this clay. Wow. But my little kitchen. Now in here... This is going to be the enchanting room. Once every, once I get all the books and get my farm running, get the leather and stuff and everything, um, I'm going to be. This is going to be the enchanting room. I'm going to decorate it, but it's pretty bare for right now. But expanding, expanding, and this one leads right out to the garage. I call it the garage because it's kind of enclosed, part of the house and, and everything. But I have my little cutters and everything and smelters um, and furnaces. It, it's just, it's a great little spot. Uh, I love how the house turned out, um, and I got this barrier all the way around this wall that just goes all over the place that keeps the baddies away from me so I don't have to worry so much, so I can actually run around here at night for the most part. Um, but down here is my little pond hangout. I'm going to fill this up with fish when I get all, um, out on another adventure. I'm going to pick up some fish, got a little cozy fire, some chairs. Um, I'm probably going to eh, burn everything down, but it gives me a good little view. I got a nice little few flowers and this, this is a little walk path that goes down. So I put up a little stair that's way back there that goes down that way. So it's easy for me to go up and down since it's a, it's a pain to climb. So it's a good little easy access. Same thing over here. Now this will lead down to my farm, a double decker farm. I love these double deckers because I can, I can consolidate on these tight spaces and everything. Um, I need to get more dirt to make that more natural looking, uh, but that's that's for another day. Uh, I'll worry that for another day. But I got this. I got uh, my wheat growing down below. Potatoes. My sad three potatoes. But I'll get more potatoes um, as they grow. I had to eat a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, but uh, this is going to be all that. But it'd be a great little spot. I lost my bees. I, either because I deforested this whole area and they ran away or, or something. Um, but I lost my bees. So I'm going to have to get more bees. I have flowers here now. And then eventually I'm going to build out to over there to the little flatter area. So it's around there so I can build like a little dock. Probably put like a like a, a mill, like a river mill or something in there. Or And I'm definitely going to be putting my barn, my big barn that's going to have all the cows and sheep and everything over there. So... Uh, it's, it's going to be a good, good spot. I'm going to build like a good, amazing staircase all the way down. Uh, and also, if there's, any, if there's anything that you think I should pop in somewhere, just leave a comment. Just leave a comment down below and I'll give it a go uh, as much as I possibly can. But um, but yeah, I, I really hope you enjoyed today's build. I, I really enjoyed going as all out that I possibly can. Um, I never classify myself as a big master builder of, of any sorts um but i had a lot of fun a lot of fun doing this and, and and everything i hope you enjoyed i really do if you did please don't forget shoot that like button to let me know and also always leave a comment i really would like that to get ideas and everything thoughts um different things i should try out for build or anything like that and also to make sure you do not miss on any of the new videos for the for this series don't forget hit that subscribe button shoot it go bing bing shoot it and um you won't you will make sure you'll get all the next episodes and everything else until i until i die but um but yeah 
I hope you all enjoy. Again, thank you all so much for all the support, and I'll catch you all on the next ride.